My name is Rosemary Coogan and I'm from the UK. Oh, space has always fascinated me. My current job is actually to look at how galaxies grow and evolve with time. But I particularly applied to the space program because I really wanted to get hands on with contributing and learning the most that we can from space. I think it's really important to understand really where we come from, the conditions from life, and how the human body reacts when those conditions change. So I'm really excited to do that by going to space, hopefully inspiring other people to do the same and contributing towards ESA's goals in that way. So I grew up in the UK and during my masters I studied physics and particularly astrophysics. I spent a lot of time also during my university years as a Royal Naval Reserve, so learning how to um, sail and operate a naval ship. And from there, I went, went on to work briefly in industry, in the software and robotics, and then on, went on to do a PhD in astrophysics. And that has eventually led me now to be an astrophysicist for the French space agency, CNES. In my free time, I used to do a lot of water sports, so things like kayaking and sailing, and particularly rowing as well at university. But nowadays, I've been doing more scuba diving and cycling and hiking, particularly in the mountains around Munich, where I was previously based. And on a rainy day, I like to do cooking and playing board games with my friends. Well, it was a real privilege to get the call. I was incredibly excited. I think there's been so many great candidates in this selection and so many people applied and I feel extremely lucky to, to be in this position. I really want to make the most of this opportunity to, to learn as much as I can and to give as much as I can. It's uh, yeah, very, very exciting. <laughs> I think what excites me most about human exploration, I suppose there's two parts to it. When I think about the ISS and a lot of the things that we do on space stations, I think about how it's where we can experience physics under completely, in a completely different way than we've ever experienced on Earth. Of course, all the physical laws still apply, but we don't see anything like that down here. And that would be, for me, a, a really thrilling thing. In terms of going to the moon, it really excites me because I feel as though it's it's almost stepping back in time, in a way, to, to be on this rocky body that represents how the solar system was formed and what we can learn from ourselves. So that's really one of the things I'm most looking forward to. In terms of where I see myself, I really just want to help ESA reach its goals. I don't know if I'll be going to the ISS or going to the moon or helping plan for activities for other astronauts. There's, there's such a wide range of things that an astronaut can do that don't involve being in space. So it's just a case of, of seeing what's needed and when. I think if I, if I had some messages for people today or young children today particularly who are interested in space and science, it would be to, to absolutely pursue it, to find out all of the possibilities because there are so many jobs that exist in the space sector and within all the different types of science. There's something there for everybody, something you'll be good at and something you will enjoy, particularly if you think you're interested in it now. So ask as many questions as possible, get in touch with whoever you can and really just go for it.